the silent hottie. Now this guy is just effing B-E-A, beautiful. He's so hot. He's one of those guys where you see and you do a double take and you're just like, yeah, of course. Die. You and your friends spot him and all of a sudden all of you are just like, yeah, anyways. Um, uh, trying to take pics of him without him knowing, just Snapchatting each other, tagline, be right back, I need to go bend over. And honestly, girl, let's be real, you're about to make all types of terrible decisions to get this man's attention. So you walk up to him, he's looking all sexy, he's all like, and you're like, hi, how are you? And he's all like, what right now? Like, what? Hi, yeah, so please excuse me as my VJJ makes a U-turn. What just happened? This guy is so hot until he opens his mouth because he's just like a weirdo, is like really lame, has a poor sense of humor, is really stupid, or just like has a terrifying voice. You are right, Ma? Like, oh, hi, yes, hi, okay, I'm fine, Mr. DMX. What? Like, yo, I went to the gym today, right? And like, I, I lifted so many like heavy things. Uh-huh, I wish one of them was a book. Honestly, this guy just needs to never speak again so I can marry him. Next, number two, the horny hypnotist. This dude is an absolute player, okay? Everybody knows it. I know it, you know it, she knows it, okay? He was born. He came out of his mommy with a freaking jersey on him, okay? The nurse didn't slap his booty. Oh, no, no, no. He slapped the nurse's booty. He's broken heart after heart, girl after girl. He's been with your sister, your best friend, your cousin. And you absolutely hate guys like him. Yeah. Until he comes up to you with his charming eyes and magical words. He just has a way of convincing every single girl that she is the one. Comes up to you like, hey, what's up? And you're just like, mm-mm, no, 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 no. Let me just open my blush here so you have a mirror to safely reverse yourself from this dead end, boo, because you ain't getting nowhere. And then he's all like, honestly, I've made a lot of mistakes, you know, and I'm just, I'm just looking for that girl to give me the chance, you know, so I can prove to all these people that I've changed. I just want to find a girl and just make her feel so special, you know what I mean? And then you're just like, Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, listen. Three things. Number one, I'll take a vodka cranberry, okay? Number two, I love you. Number three, just in case this bra looks from the front. How? How do you do this to me? I know you're bad for me. It's like I'm lactose intolerant. You're a gallon of milk. I'm just chugging you like, oh, 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 and I'm gonna friggin' be farting all the way to your apartment. Damn you. Friggin' heart. I'm sorry. Number three, the good guy. The good guy. The good guy. You know the good guy. We all know the good guy. He lives over over there, you know, on 33 Friend Zone Lane. This guy is great because he's nice, he's sweet, he's caring, he's always been there for you. He's probably a little shy and it's adorable. And chances are when your douchebag boyfriend cheated on you, he was the shoulder you leaned on. And although he's probably madly in love with you, you just see him as a brother. Yeah, you see him as a brother. And as a result, he now believes nice guys finish last. Well, you know what, Mr. Nice Guy? Yeah, in some ways you're right. Girls, they're idiots. Ain't nobody denying that. But at the same time, it's not completely the girl's fault. Because you see all these douchebags, this lineup of douchebags we've been dating, they all have one thing in common. And you know what that is? They all made a move. And you, if we was playing a game of Monopoly, you would just be in jail. Why? Because you never made a move. Because you're going to be sitting all there consoling me with your arm around my shoulder all like this, okay? You ain't indicating to me that you're physically attracted to me. So while you're sitting like this with your arm around me like this, and I'm all like this, okay? Five minutes later, you're going to go to check the time, and then BAM! I done tied a rakri on your ish. Rakri. Rakri. I can't say that in a white tone. Rakri. Rakri. It's a string that indicates brother and sisterhood. Honestly, translations just kill the joke. So no, nice guys don't always finish last. How are you supposed to finish last when you didn't even enter the damn race? Having said all of that, usually you do hit on us and we still reject you. I'm sorry, girls are just stupid, our bad. Number four, the flashing douchebag. This guy does not give any type of F, okay, that he's a douchebag. He wants the world to know. He doesn't care about impressing anybody. He's obnoxious, he's rude, and he's probably always saying, that's what she said. It's almost like there's a sign above his head that's just like, douchebag. Douchebag. Get your douchebag here. He probably refers to women with some disrespectful term just thinking like he runs the place. And chances are if he approaches you, he's gonna say something super inappropriate that's just gonna make you wish you just had Valencia so you could shove it down his throat just so his mouth would have a filter. You dutty. Dutty, 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 la, la. Number... Five? The fantasy. AKA Mr. Perfect, okay? He's smart, he's handsome, he's fun, he's funny, he's charming, he's a gentleman. Honestly, if I were a zombie, I'd eat him the most. 
What up t-shirt reference? He is everything you've ever wanted in a guy and he is taken by some girl you don't know but you hate. And honestly, let's be real, you've even tried flirting with him just a little bit, just to like test the waters, just you know, put your toe just in the water, you're like, oh, flirt, a little bit of flirt, wink, a little bit of booty, nothing. Oh, so now this guy is the one guy in the entire world that decides to be faithful. Great. Like, honestly, why are you so loyal? Don't be selfish. And now, as a result, I hate your poor girlfriend for no absolute reason, and anything she does, I find annoying. Honestly, who does she think she is wearing earrings? Okay, honestly, is she touching his shoulder? Get a room, slut. Did you see that? Did you just smile at me? Oh my gosh, she's so fake. <sighs> Number six, the kite. Now we all have that one guy friend whose eyes are just really red. Now I'm gonna try to censor this a bit for my younger viewers. I don't wanna be so blunt, okay, but he's always in high spirits. Probably looks a bit like a caveman from the stone ages. Loves jamming out to some MJ. Chamo! Favorite color green? And you always have to repeat combos with them because they're just smiling at nothing into space, like. And every picture you take, they look like this. Like, I don't get it. Are you posing for a picture or trying to find Waldo? We need to control. Number seven, muscle heads. AKA fitness junkies. The guys who spend all their days in a gym are always seen with a protein shake and are just fit as F. But not only are they super fit and in shape, but they want the whole world to know they're in shape. Countless pictures on Instagram just like flexing. Oh, just like this. And then the most annoying, when they lift up their shirt, to show their abs. Now don't get me wrong, ain't nobody mad about your abs. I ain't mad about your abs. One or two pictures like that, goddamn. But when almost every picture you have on Instagram is of you lifting your shirt, that gets a bit annoying. Leave something to my imagination. Like why do you keep lifting your shirt? I don't wanna be reminded every second that your boobs are bigger than mine. Like I don't get it. I don't get why men that are fit have this continuous need to lift their shirt in pictures. Like it's not even off, they're just lifting their shirt for the picture and then the hashtag is gonna be, do you even lift bro? Like honestly, why are humans so dumb? Only humans do this, like I cannot imagine animals doing this. If Piglet had Instagram,